Scaffolds provide essential support to buildings that are being constructed and are then eventually replaced by a final material. The trick with scaffolds is that they have to be removed in a way that maintains building integrity while minimizing interference with the construction process. For tissue engineering, this means that scaffolds have to be designed to maintain their shape while undergoing slow biodegradation and replacement by host tissue. In their communication in advanced materials, Jingyu Zhang and Xiu Shang from the Chinese Academy of Sciences and their co-workers fabricate a self-adjusting blood vessel mimicking polymer structure that maintains blood vessel geometry in vivo for months and is efficiently replaced by host tissue. A big problem with making biodegradable polymers into artificial blood vessels is that as degradation takes place, the vessel loses its original shape. For example, when we roll out POJ sheets into a blood vessel, as degradation happens, it will shrink and become blocked. By contrast, when we roll up PCL sheet into a blood vessel, it will expand and lose its tubular shape. In order to keep the stability of the artificial blood vessel, we thus decide to put the PCL sheet inside the PLG sheet, such that over time, the multiple layers of polymers can self-adjust to keep the exact inner diameter of the tube to become the blood vessel. The advantage of this approach is that both polymers are FDA approved for implants. Commercialization should thus be easier than using polymers with new components. In vitro patterning of the stress-induced rolling membrane is achieved by adding three different cell types to different channels of a microfluidics PDMS chip. 24-hour incubation facilitates cell adhesion. The cell-laden electrospun mat is released and transferred into a new well in order to assess long-term stability. In vivo performance is assessed in artificial vascular replacements in rabbits. Doppler ultrasound measurements reveal clogging for polyepsilin caprolactone-only tubes and poly-DL-lactide co-glycolide tubes after just two months. In amazing contrast, the PCL-PLGA construct even allows blood flow three months post-operation. Histological and immunological staining three months post-operation confirms that the PCL-PLGA graft impressively maintains a near-native structure during degradation and promotes a native vessel-like endothelial cell distribution, in contrast to the single polymer grafts, which fail completely. To know more, please visit Advanced Materials in the Wiley Online Library.